Hey Valorant player, if you are trying to open Valorant on your Windows 11 and getting this error, that is WAN 9003, the version of Vanguard requires Secure Boot to be enabled in order to play. There might be different error as well, but the error code would be WAN 9003. So in this video, you will see different ways to fix this problem on your Windows 11. Basically this happens when the Secure Boot or UEFI is disabled from the BIOS. So you have to check whether Secure Boot and UEFI is enabled or not. For that go to search and search for MS Info and click on System Information app. Now in the system summary you need to find BIOS mode and the Secure Boot state. BIOS mode should be UEFI. If it is CSM or Legacy then you need to change it to UEFI. And the secure boot state should be on. If it is off, you need to turn on secure boot from the BIOS. To enable these features, you need to open BIOS on your PC. First, you have to find the BIOS key for your PC. If you have a laptop, then search the BIOS key for your laptop. If you have custom built PC, then search for BIOS key for your motherboard. Simply search on Google. Or I will provide you some BIOS key for the uh, popular brands in the video description. Anyhow, you have to find BIOS key. Now close everything and restart your PC. While restarting, you have to press the BIOS key on your keyboard. Just press the BIOS key when you see the manufacturer logo and it will load up the BIOS. I have MSI motherboard and the interface looks like this. If you have different motherboard, the interface will look different but you will find similar options. Right now the BIOS is into advanced mode. Now if you see an interface something like this, that means the BIOS is into EG mode. You have to open the advanced mode first. Click on advanced mode or press F7 on your keyboard to open the advanced BIOS mode. Now click on settings and you will get some options. Then go to advanced option and then windows OS configuration. Open this option and you will find the BIOS mode. Make sure you have selected UEFI. If it is selected as legacy or CSM, change it to UEFI. Now click on secure boot and secure boot should be enabled. If it is disabled, then enable it and secure boot mode should be standard. Now go back to main menu and security options so that we can enable TPM 2.0. Open the security option and look for trusted computing. And the security device support should be enabled. If it is disabled, you have to enable it. And the TPM switch should be enabled as well. Whatever TPM switch is available, you have to select that one. It might be AMD FTPM, Intel PTT or ITPM or firmware TPM. But if you see an option of discrete TPM, then do not select it. And after that, you have to save all the changes you made. Simply click on this red X button and click on yes option to save all the changes. And after that, your PC will restart. Now log in back to your Windows 11 and try to open Valorant. Check if you are able to open and play the Valorant or not. If yes, you can leave a like and exit out this video. If not, you need to open the MS Info again and check if the secure boot state is enabled or not. Whether it is enabled or not, you need to open the BIOS menu again and come back to this page and go to advanced option and Windows OS configuration, secure boot. Now first you need to disable the secure boot. Select the disabled option and secure boot mode, select custom option. Now again uh, click on secure boot mode and select the standard option. Now it will ask you to install factory default keys. Press yes option and reset without saving, no option and enable the secure boot. Now while doing these things you might get another error that is system is in setup mode. I have a dedicated video to fix that error you can watch that video somewhere in this card. Anyway, 
uh, after changing the secure boot mode and enabling secure boot you have to exit out and save all the changes and then your PC will restart once logged into Windows 11 let's open the system information again and BIOS mode is UEFI and secure boot state is enabled now it is turned on let's try to open Valorant and you can see that I am able to open Valorant and I am able to play the Valorant without any error in the most cases enabling secure boot and UEFI will fix WAN 9003 error on your Windows 11 by any chance if you are still unable to open Valorant on your Windows 11 then you can try the compatibility mode first you need to locate the shortcut of Valorant if it is on your desktop then good if not search for Valorant and open file location or right click then open file location now copy this shortcut and paste it on desktop if it is already on your desktop then you can skip this part copy and paste to the desktop now right click on the Valorant shortcut and go to properties click on the compatibility tab and check this option run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 hit apply and ok now try to open Valorant and it should open so this is how you can fix WAN 9003 error on your Windows 11 and play the Valorant and that's all for this video guys hope this helped if so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe also press the bell icon to get notified about new videos and I will see you in my next one